Hey guys and welcome to a new video from Akinons. In this video, we will see why using an eval keyword is a bad practice in the Python programming language. So without further wasting time, let's get started. So if you guys do not have any idea about the eval keyword, basically it is used to evaluate expressions. The expression could be in the format of a string, which could be basically a set of data inside a list or certain mathematical expressions etc and using this eval keyword or the eval function we can evaluate to get a valid data for example let's see the scenario where we have certain string let's name it string underscore a and let's put in some expression for example 2 into 3 and let's print the string a so first before printing the string a i will print its type to check what data type denotes well if i run this on the output window it's clearly visible that the data type is a string so now what we will do is we will make use of the eval keyword so what i'll say is the output will be saved in a variable output and now i will make use of the eval function and you do not need to import it since it comes inbuilt with the python so what we'll do is eval string underscore a and now let's simply print output okay two, i'll do two things i'll print output as well as i will print the type of the output to check out what type in which it is converted well let's run this and first we get the class of string which is the type of the string a then we evaluate this expression and the output is 6 which is clearly the required output that we desired that is 2 into 3 and the type of the data is dynamically converted to an integer well this is a great function that can be used to simply evaluate any type of mathematical expressions so for example let's see some more complicated expressions and let's see how does the eval function express and handle these expressions for example, I'll say 2 multiplied by 3 raised to 6 and if I run this, we get a big value that is 1458 and the class is an integer which, which makes sense that evaluate can literally handle any type of an expression. Even if I put these parentheses inside it, it will be able to handle and now since the parentheses are placed, the output is a bit different. So that's how simple evaluate function is. Let's see something really fun with this evaluate keyword. We can also use the evaluate keyword to express and handle some Python type of expression or some functions. So for example, let me show you the simple example. I'll create a keyword, a variable called as input. And inside that I will say eval, I'll use the eval function. And now I will say input, please enter some code okay so basically we are telling the user to enter some code in python and let's see what will be the desired output so for that let me just run that file so now it says please enter some code so let's try to enter some simple code print hello world okay so inside my print statement i will say hello world and all i need to do is press enter and wonderful we literally typed in code on the output window and its output was visible to us. So basically with the help of the eval function, it evaluated a Python syntax and found its output and displayed that on the window. Doesn't that sound pretty cool? Well, all this may be sounding great to us, but there are some shortcomings of using the eval keyword and we will see what it is. So the first and most common issue that comes around is such types of syntax or using of such functions is susceptible to injection attacks. For example, SQL injection can be easily performed when the user controls certain data that is inserted into the code and that can accidentally allow arbitrary code to be inserted. For example, we seen that we simply put a Python script that said print hello world and its output was evaluated. Well, a hacker can put in some random script to hack in the server and as well as get access to a database 
Therefore, we have to keep this in mind while using the eval keyword. Secondly, beginners tend to use eval function because it is really simple and easy to use. In this case, what we did is we simply made use of the eval function and we could use and we could evaluate such complex expressions. But the problem with this is it works, but it is the wrong way to solve a problem. A efficient method would be to save all the data in some data structure, for example, stack or something, and then evaluate using any type of method, for example, post fix, infix, etc. Thirdly, eval is typically inefficient, which means a lot of effort is spent speeding up the programming language implementation. Here, what happens is due to the execution and understanding of the script, the program takes a bit time of its execution and that would have effects on the performance of our code. So basically, it's not bad to use eval, but it's just that it's a catchy way to put it. Any beginner coder should strictly stay away from eval because whatever they are wanting to do, eval is almost certainly the wrong solution. For certain advanced use cases, eval makes sense and you should use it. But obviously, be careful of the pitfalls. So that's it from this video, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the Hackanon's YouTube channel. And we'll be back soon with more fun and interesting videos.